All right, folks, today we're going to talk about how to create a media center experience at home. Um, quite customizable and expandable. So uh, in essence, what it means is uh, just to have a media server, which is capable of pushing out uh, streams of videos, photos, music, online content like YouTube and stuff, uh, wirelessly to um, all your devices in your household. Uh, portable devices, uh, like your iPad, iPhones, mobile phones, uh, your TV. I wanted uh, th to accomplish this uh, with two main um, focus areas. One, it should be wireless, uh, or, or as wireless as it could get. Um, and two, um, it should be quite expandable. So I tried to avoid uh, proprietary implementations um, as much as possible. So uh, when we talk wireless, um, okay, let's let me put it this way. Uh, consider um, people carrying different stuff uh, up and down a thin corridor. Um, it's more likely that these people bang into each other, so their stuff falls. It reaches the destination late. And uh, how could we remedy this? Uh, one one easy way was to have separate corridors for uh, people carrying separate stuff. So wireless is pretty similar to this. So instead of a corridor, it's a frequency spectrum. So, so having different data in different frequency spectrums is going to avoid collision. So that is the media storage device. It's a Netgear ReadyNAS. And um, basically it could, uh, it, it's a small media server in itself, but the primary use is to store uh, all your uh, content uh, in, in, in a reliable place in the sense if one of the disks in that four bay arrangement fail, um, since it is over a RAID array, uh, all the data is still recoverable. And uh, this uh, NAS network attached storage box is hooked up to a wireless router. Uh, it's the WNDR3700, which is a top of the line home router solution. Basically, it can transfer, um, uh, it operates on both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz spectrum. So the 2.4 gigahertz carry internet content and the 5 gigahertz carry all the media from the storage device. And uh, that's the Dell Alienware M17XR3, which in this case is going to be my media server. Uh, it uh, receives content from the over the wireless router uh, from the storage device, video content or photos or music, and uh, gives it to the wireless transmitter. The wireless signals from the media server to the TV or um, other portable devices which can um, support HDMI input uh, will be over the 6 gigahertz spectrum. So this is uh, wireless HDMI which is capable of uh, 1080p signals, full HD and uh, 3D. And this is accomplished uh, by the use of uh, something called wireless HDMI. It's a standard developed by a few companies. Um, it, uh, in my opinion it's the best in the market now. So uh, this is the Vizio transmitter, which is capable of transmitting full HD signals, including 3D, from uh, four inputs here to the uh, receiver, uh, which has one HDMI output and is plugged into my TV. In this case, the Alienware comes equipped with a wireless HDMI transmitter. Uh, so uh, in the sense it... Um, it takes the function of the Vizio transmitter, which I just showed you. And with the receiver uh, plugged into the TV, uh, the screen of the laptop is mirrored there. And uh, the laptop has uh, XBMC, which is the media center uh, software. Uh, there are other implementations over XBMC like Plex or Boxy. Uh, but I chose XBMC because uh, it is fairly customizable. It runs on most platforms. And um, so this, a quick preview of the screen is like this, which we will get mirrored onto the TV. And uh, in this case, we would want to uh, control the XBMC software running on the media server using any portable device. And uh, here I will use a small application running on the iPad. 
So I use this uh, quick application. Um, it's free. It can be uh, downloaded from the iTunes store. Um, you can even make one by yourself. It's pretty simple. It controls XBMC or some standard protocols. And uh, so here we have our display of a music center. Uh, we can uh, have some TV shows here, uh, the ones which you could buy from iTunes. Uh, you can see all your pictures like here for example and uh, all these are uh, by the way play uh, available on the media server which is transmitted to the TV from the media center PC and uh, have quick slideshows and everything controllable like right from here so let's go back Go back again. Uh, XBMC has uh, several plugins which expands its functionality. Like here, in, for instance, I can look up the weather information. Um, so, sunny day here. That's nice. And uh, movies. Uh, some backups from my uh, DVD collection. Uh, you you get a good uh, description of the movie here, um, the IMDb rating, and um, music. Um, I all my iTunes media is here. Driving song, there's supply. You can play it right away from here. And what next? And uh, all this is um, full HD uh, in a complete wireless environment. We could let's stop that there. You can control all your PC right from here. Um, it's called VNC. The VNC server is running on your PC, and I have a VNC client here. So basically, here I see my whole computer screen. Like and for instance, open a browser and uh, scroll over launch YouTube and as simple as that have fun by NVIDIA.